The sneaker world and basketball world alike were shook this month by news that Kobe Bryant's long, fruitful brand partnership with Nike has come to an end. So what did Kobe mean to Nike? What comes next for each party involved? And what do those who look to honor Kobe's legacy by wearing his gear do now? We'll tell you all about it in this week's installment of Take This In. Before we dive any deeper, just a quick reminder to like, subscribe, and tell your friends to do the same. Everyone's always talking about how we deserve more subs, so let's do something about it. All right, back to Kobe and Nike. A five-year post-retirement contract between Bryant and Nike expired on April 13th. Five years to the day that Kobe dropped 60 points in an epic career finale we'll never forget. Mamba out. Vanessa Bryant has confirmed that it was the Kobe Bryant estate that decided not to renew the contract, which means Nike's manufacturing and releases of Kobe's iconic shoes and apparel will soon cease. That decision brings an end to an 18-year partnership that covered more than half of Bryant's on-court career, lasted into retirement, and even into his sudden and tragic passing. It's hard to overstate just how much Kobe has meant to Nike in the years since he split from Adidas shortly after the release of this shoe. Brian was one of the brand's most impactful global ambassadors, and that impact can't just be measured by his 11 signature models or the massive revenue his apparel brought in. When he helped launch the Hyperdunk with this infamously viral stunt in 2008, then wore the revolutionary shoes to help lead the Redeem team to Olympic gold, Brian ushered in a low-cut boom that is still felt today. Last season, roughly twice as many NBA players wore Kobe's than any other player's shoe. Stars like Devin Booker and DeMar DeRozan swear by Kobe's footwear, which isn't just a testament to his iconography. Bryant's meticulous attention to detail went into every signature shoe that bore his name. If I were to make a basketball shoe, it would be like nothing you've ever seen before. Some analysts see the value of Nike's Kobe line as roughly a quarter billion dollars. Though industry analyst Matt Powell says losing the business of Kobe, which is bigger in China than the US, isn't actually a big blow to the apparel giant. So how did this lucrative and transformative partnership fall apart just over a year after Bryant's death? According to an ESPN report, Vanessa and the Bryant estate grew frustrated with Nike limiting the availability of Kobe apparel since his January 2020 death. Vanessa had even taken to Instagram to post about how hard it was for fans to buy Kobe's online around the time the Kobe 6 Grinch was re-released last Christmas. It was also reported that the Bryant estate expected but wasn't presented with a lifetime contract similar to those Nike had reached with Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Cristiano Ronaldo. So what now? Well, the estate can negotiate new brand partnerships with whoever they want. And a really important part of that is that the Kobe Bryant estate owns the rights to both the Mamba logo and Bryant's signature. Though the sheath logo often found on the tongue of Kobe's is reportedly mutually owned by Bryant's estate and Nike. Could there be a reunion with Kobe's original partner, Adidas? Is a reconciliation with Nike completely off the table? Could a surprising brand emerge? Maybe the logical answer is that Bryant's estate will fulfill Kobe's reported desire to start his own original Mamba brand. According to one intellectual property lawyer, the Bryant estate has filed for 13 different trademarks since last May alone. My hope will always be to allow Kobe's fans to get and wear his products, Vanessa said in a recent statement. I will continue to fight for that, she added. As for the rest of us, whether you're a general NBA fan who respects Kobe's greatness, a full-fledged Kobe stan, or even an NBA player who needs to hoop in Kobe's, Taylor Horton Tucker is all of us right now. So what do you think? What are your hopes for the future of Kobe's brand and apparel? What's your favorite Nike-Kobe collaboration? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.